Kia ora, and welcome to Annie School, your toon school of excellence. Today, we're learning about three tricky words that sound the same, but mean something very different. Where, where, where. Children sometimes mix these words up and use where instead of where, or where instead of where. Silly billies. Oh well, never mind. We're here to help. We're right here. Wear your learning hat and we'll get on with it then, shall we? Where is your learning hat? Where did you leave it? Knowing the difference between where, where and where is especially important when you are reading and writing and talking and writing and reading. Where shall we start? Let's start with the first where. Where. This word is all about location, location, location. Where are you going? Where is your school? I know where your school is. It's just down the road and around the corner and then over the hill and under the bridge and along the... Hmm, seems I don't know where your school is. Where? That's right, it's all about location. It even has a location word written inside it. Here, see? Marvellous, isn't it? The second where is where. This where doesn't mean the same as the other where. No siree. This wear is either about the clothes you have on, or have had on, or are going to have on, or about something being worn down. Wear, the one about the clothes. That's a nice jacket that you are wearing. What do you wear to school? Do you wear your school uniform? Do you wear your muddy trainers? Do you wear a smile? Your teacher hopes so. Where? The one about things deteriorating. That means getting worse, eh? My shoes are beginning to wear out from all the running I do. My shoes are beginning to wear out from all the dancing I do. My shoes are beginning to wear out from all the other things I do in my shoes. My patience is wearing thin, said the teacher to the class of naughty, naughty children who had all worn out their shoes. The third wear is wear. This one is two words stuck together to make just one word. Take we and take are, stick them together and you have wear. We are going to school. We're going to school. We are wearing our shoes. We're wearing our shoes. We are being naughty in the class. We're being naughty in the class. So, let's recap. See what I did there? Where, where and where may sound the same, but they are different. That's right, they are different. Where are my shoes? We're going running today and I want to wear them. I will probably wear them out given how far and how fast I run. Go on, give it a go. Try it. Give it a nudge. Have a crack. Go on. So, next time your teacher asks you to write where, where or where properly in your writing, instead of going, um, you'll be able to say, we're going to. I'm going to wear my socks while I do it. Where are your socks, teacher dearest? And then smile innocently while you wait for her answer. <laughs> Our learning here is done, my little banana milkshakes. See y'all next time at Annie School, your tune school of excellence. <laughs>